hello friends welcome to the another video tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to configure trends in delta hmi watch the full video for better understanding and kindly hit the subscribe button and support my work let's start the tutorial so open delta hmi software so it is we all know delta hmi software is dop soft so i am opening dop soft I have version 4.06. You can use any version. Yeah. So go to file, create new file. I am going to take 107 CV. You can select as per your model number. Next. Here you need to select your PLC uh, protocol type and all. Okay. So uh, as per your application, you have to select here PLC and all. So I will now I will keep it as a default. Just click on finish. Okay, we have this screen here. And this is screen one. So now we will add one trend here. So before that we need to have some settings. So let's first go to option configuration. Go to control box. Okay. Here you can see sampling history before. You need to just enable this and clearing history before. Okay, just check this on. So in your application, you might have screen number, general control, cover control, recipe control. Okay, you can select all of these as per your application. Okay, let's say suppose we have selected all these. So remember one thing. You can't use these registers even a program in your PLC program. Okay, so for another application, right? So these registers will be reserved for this all this application. So click on OK. Let's create some history setup. So go to options, history buffer setup. Click on this plus icon. So add new buffer. Okay. So let's take address here. Let's suppose uh, we have D100. Okay. So suppose uh, if you have uh, three quantities to uh, show on graph, then let's take uh, uh, read length here three. Okay. So we are going to three uh, see. Uh, we are going to show three quantity on graph. Three quantity means uh, three parameters. If uh, you can have uh, pressure, you might have temperature, and let's say suppose uh, one more temperature. Okay, so we are taking three quantities here. Okay, so just uh, select first address. So it will. Uh, so you need to just take another uh, next three address here. So one uh, hundred is for first quantity, one zero one is for second quantity, and one zero three for third quantity. Okay. Then just uh, click here non volatile, then add a soft. Okay, so here uh, sample number uh, let's take 100 suppose or 1000. This is sampling cycle, so this is 100 millisecond by default. Okay, so just click on stamp rate and okay. Yeah, so now just go to screen. So first we will take three numeric input here. So we'll have a numeric entry. So give the address. First address is hundred. So give the D hundred here. You need to use uh, next three subsequent address. I will just copy and paste this address here. So right address is hundred, D hundred, and read address is D hundred. Click on OK. This is first quantity. So I will just copy paste. Uh, we'll modify the address. That is one zero one. This is second quantity, and this one is third. Yes, one zero two. Yeah. Just save the backup. So suppose you have these three parameters, and we need to. Uh, we need to show the trend for this three parameter. Yeah. 
so you can see here this is curve or this is history curve or you can go to element in sampling just take historical trend graph drag and drop here okay go to properties so now here you can see we have number of three curves so we will select here three then let's go to details here okay you can see here history buffer setup we have already set up for this history buffer okay so you need to just enable this so i will just you need to put one here so this means all three trends are enabled now in start position first one will be the zero second one will be the one and third one will be the two okay. so this is curve uh, curve color this curve color so for first let's say suppose blue for second we will take red and for third one we will take a different color so let's take uh, green yeah uh, just show the uh, let's say uh, show the time format date format display time okay so you can see here now you can able to see the three curve here okay so uh, let's show the scale this side so go to global range click on global range here you can define your range of temperature or pressure so suppose 0 to 100 and in scale setting let's display on left so now you can see here it will show scale on left side yeah so just uh, now let's turn on simulation okay it's very fast so just we will minimize the speed so go to history setup edit here this is sampling cycle so it is now 100 milliseconds so let's keep it as a one second that is 1000 millisecond so it means uh, it will show it will collect the data on every second now again let's start the simulation ok so simulation started so if I click here you can see here 0 0 0 value so let's put suppose here 20 so now you can see first one is showing 20 if I click here you can see here 20 0 0 means first well uh, first one is suppose temperature is 20 pressure is 0 and third uh, second temperature is 0 suppose take here 40 let's take here 50 yeah you can see all three dia three graphs are showing so if i click anywhere so it will show the time and date of that particular point suppose i click here so it will show the time and the, here you can see time and date and these are the values 20 40 50 so let's suppose 30 and here from this you can you can see previous value and here current value So in this way, you can configure the trends in Delta HMI. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial and for more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.